Hey guys, what's up? It's the College Detective here, investigating your favorite movies. Holy fuck! Ah, sneaky. Uh, today I'm going to talk about a movie that I watched yesterday, and that is The Eye, or Gin Guai, directed by the Pang Brothers. The Pang Brothers, specifically. <laughs> And this is a Hong Kong Singaporean joint film collab because this movie takes place for the most part in Hong Kong and with Hong Kong actors, and uh, the directors are Singaporean. And this is a horror film released in 2002, my birth year, yay. But uh, essentially, the I or Gin Guai is basically about a blind girl who just had cornea transplant after the transplant she can see ghosts a thing about the um horror culture in asia and east asia specifically is that there is no difference between a ghost a demon a devil and a monster in western cultures especially cultures that are heavily affected by the likes of christianity there would be more different perceptions of what is a demon, what is a devil, what is a ghost. Um, but honestly, in Hong Kong, even when I was young, when I was like 12, 13 years old, I thought all four of these are basically the same. So anyways, the main character, uh, her name is Amun. She can see ghosts now, and it's really freaking uh, her out. Because these ghosts aren't necessarily friendly ghosts. They scream, they screech, they yell, and they are horrifying. They're creepy as hell. And in the second half of the movie, Amun and um, uh, another doctor uh, decided to accompany with her to Thailand to find out who these corneas originally belong to, basically. <laughs> First of all, this film, um, I have mixed thoughts about this. The directing is not really that good. There are a lot of um, scenes, uh, especially right off the bat in the opening sequence, in the opening credits. It just feels really cheap and really lame. But as the movie progresses, there are actually a lot of effective scares, especially in the first half. Of course, we have the iconic one and only elevator scene that is creepy as hell. It's been a long time since I've watched a really disturbing scene like the elevator scene. That scene, it's scary. And um, it's also relatable because I live in a you know, I live on the 32nd floor. Every time I leave my apartment and return to my apartment, I have to wait for an entire lifetime in the elevator. And there has been anxieties during these elevator journeys. And uh, there are also other really effective scares, like the one where um, Amon was basically doing uh, Chinese calligraphy and suddenly this woman shows up and at first it seems like a jump scare but it is the anticipation the build up to that that really makes that scene scary and i i was actually a little impressed like damn actually an effective scare the second half however is where things started to get confusing because basically amun suddenly knew what to do like she just figured out oh i need to do this but there's no explanation behind any of that. She just knows. The final climax scene is um, not much of a horror, more of a thriller. But given that we finally figured out what to do at the end, it makes sense that the mystery element is taken out of the equation. But uh, yeah, it's not much of an ending because it, it just doesn't really feel related to anything at all but yeah overall the premise of this movie the story is actually great it's actually brilliant and of course hollywood has to ruin it with their own remake of course but um i think this version of the story now i haven't seen the remake but i've watched the trailers um, I think the remake is probably even worse because it's a little bit more over the top and a little bit here and there, but this 
movie. This movie stays in its own lane humbly and does it really well. Again, that elevator scene, damn. But, uh, yeah, I, I still wouldn't say this is a great movie. I wouldn't say this is the kind of horror movie that sticks to you and makes you afraid of turning off the lights when you go to bed. It just didn't affect me all that much. But uh, there are some scary moments that I enjoyed. And, um, yeah, there's one particular sub-storyline. Actually, there are two sub-storylines that are completely unrelatable. There's a violin thing, because Amon plays violin, and it's not related to anything at all. And then there's the uh, Yang Yang, which is um, uh, a cancer patient, a child cancer patient. The acting is not so good. And again, it's not related to anything. It's not like she comes back towards the end as a ghost and save the day. She doesn't do anything. She just, like, she's just there. So, uh, yeah, um, Kin Guai, the eye, released in 2002. It's all right. It has a great premise, but uh, it didn't deliver as well as I hoped it would be. Feeling a light to decent 7 out of 10. So, have you watched The Eye from 1 to 10 numbers? Just rate it, like, rate it, like, and subscribe if you want more. And thanks for watching. Um, Promising Young Woman would be the next movie I review. That or Citizen Kane, because I have to watch it for my film class course lesson thing.